Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Tuesday, the fifth week of Lent, the solemnity of St. Joseph, husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it's from the first book of Matthew, chapter 16. The first 17 verses, the gospel tells us about the genealogy of Jesus with three sets of 14 generations leading to his birth. Mary told her husband, Joseph, she was pregnant. Joseph, a righteous and very law-abiding man, knew it wasn't his child because they hadn't lived or been together yet. Mary would have suffered much embarrassment and ostracized if the word got out. So Joseph had planned to divorce Mary informally to spare her public disgrace. But one night in a dream, an angel of God appeared to him and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. Joseph's faith was strong and structured and being a holy man and believing, having faith, listened as the angel said, she will bear a son and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel commanded and took his wife into his home. Love for Mary, faith in God, and always wanting to obey the law, Joseph was in place now to be the foster father of Jesus. Can you imagine nowadays to hear your girlfriend or spouse is with child and in a dream of an angel telling you, oh, don't worry, your girlfriend or your spouse was made pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Wait a minute. Would we be okay with that and believe and go along with her and support her with no questions asked? We would probably want a DNA test and a printout of our girlfriend or spouse's GPS to see where she's been. Stop right there. Keep coming to church. Keep your faith and refresh and update your faith daily. Go to confession, relieve the pain of your faults and sinful acts by telling them to your priest. We should do this often, however, even more so, it is a most precious time to do this during Lent. Lent is a significant season in the year for Christians, a time of solemnity and self-reflection where we confess our failings and resolve to live a more godly life based on the teachings of Jesus Christ. When our heart and soul are clean, being absolved from our sins, we can feel more deeply the love of God and our faith will grow and flourish. Being in this richer and more holy state in our life, we can be an example like St. Joseph and believe without reservation the needs of others, whether our spouse, family, and friends, and even strangers we meet with a connection of love and respect for everyone. Putting their concerns first and reinforcing it with the increased strength in our faith as we get closer to Holy Week. God bless us all, and thank you for watching. Shalom, shalom. Reflexion del Santo Evangelio según San Juan 8, 21, 30. Nuestro Señor Jesucristo le dijo a los fariseos, yo me voy y ustedes me buscarán, pero ustedes no pueden ir a donde yo voy, morirán por sus pecados. Los judíos se preguntaron, ¿y acaso él se va a suicidar? Jesucristo dijo, ustedes son de abajo y yo soy de arriba. Ustedes son de este mundo y yo no. Yo le digo que si ustedes no creen que yo soy, morirán sus pecados. Pero lo que le digo al mundo, lo aprendí del que me ha enviado. Pero ellos no comprendieron. También dijo, cuando levant, 
quiten en alto al Hijo del Hombre, entonces conocerán que yo soy. Hermanos, somos muchos los creyentes en nuestro Señor Jesucristo, pero Él vino a salvarnos del pecado. Recordemos que los fariseos y maestros de la ley, ellos conocían mucho, pero no se convirtieron. Usted, hermano, usted, hermana, está dispuesta a llegar a la reconciliación y pedir perdón a Dios por sus faltas y pecado ante un sacerdote para obtener la salvación de nuestros pecados y así poder usted y yo podemos obtener la confesión ¿verdad? porque si nuestro Padre Jesucristo pues si nuestro Señor Jesucristo como habló con el Padre Él dijo que nosotros debíamos de morir por el pecado. Bueno, usted, hermano, si no se ha, ha confesado, pues le pedimos que se acerque a una santa iglesia para que pueda obtener el perdón de sus culpas, de su falta, porque la confesión es el lugar más propio para que su alma y sus pecados sean perdonados por Dios. Y le digo, pues si usted necesita la confesión, acerca a un sacerdote y le digo una cosa haga la prueba y verá qué bueno es el Señor Amén